as you watch that video, obviously family is so important to you. And uh, to see your kids and, and your wife after all these years, um, obviously you're so important to them and vice versa. How, how did you feel just seeing that yeah, video? It was, uh, I'm very moved, obviously. I'm very humbled uh, to be honored here this evening. And uh, my family means everything to me. And um, my wife of 31 years uh, and my, my three children, uh, very proud of everything that they've done and, and the kids that they've, the adults now that they've become. And I have my, my brothers and my, my sister-in-laws here with me tonight and lots of friends. And, you know, importantly, um, you know, I, I kind of think of this as I'm sharing this with people that were on the golf committee that, because you, you don't do this by yourself. Uh, this is a group effort. This is a team effort. You're never an individual. It's, sure. it's all about the team that we've had and, you know, friends uh, all in this room have, you know, shared, sh shared in helping raise money for Catholic Charities and CYO. So I, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for, you know, helping me out when I tap you on the shoulder. And if people see me coming, sometimes they run the other way. Uh, <laughs> well, you've gone from, uh, from hitting people pretty hard to tapping on the shoulder now. That's nice of you. Uh, for those of you who don't follow sports or maybe don't, don't know, uh, Bill was uh, a very important component on the 1980 uh, 182 team that won the Super Bowl for the 49ers. Um, you know, uh, yeah. Those days are coming again, right? <laughs> this, year, this year, I got a good feeling this year. <laughs> Kyle Shanahan. There you go. John Lynch. 49er fans in the house. <laughs> Just to be fair, Raider fans in the house. The, the organizers told me if there were more Raider fans to use smaller words and speak slowly. But, uh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I'm, I'm glad I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, we digress. <laughs> uh, Bill, I think you got you yourself in a little trouble here. <laughs> It's okay. We, there's always a Las Vegas joke in there somewhere. But, um, but uh, anyway, Bill, <laughs> hearkening back to those glory years, what, what do you think being on a team like that, that nobody predicted would be Super Bowl champs, and you guys overachieved, what did you learn from that ability to everybody get the chemistry together and do something that nobody thought possible, and then after your football career, you've done the same kinds of things uh, about putting teams together in other realms of life. And how did your football career uh, transfer over to uh, real life, if you will, and where you are today on this stage? Yeah, that's a long question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll try to break it into bits. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, they didn't I, give me a teleprompter. <laughs> uh, um, what was your question again? <laughs> <laughs> well, how did your football career impact what you're doing today? Yeah, did yeah. you learn something from being on a Super Bowl champ? I, sh I sure did, and I think the, uh, you know, the people, the individuals that I played with, if you look at the first year that we won the Super Bowl back in 1982, 81-82 season, um, I'll never forget, and Milt McCall, who's uh, and Cindy McCall's wife are here tonight. He's my teammate. Um, we, were, we were rookies together, and uh, we had two other people. Uh, Milt was a free agent from Stanford. I was a free agent. I had played with the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers a year before and was released. Uh, and then uh, we had Rick Jervis, who was a, a free agent, and then we had Ron Ferrari, well, not, not that year, but uh, Ron came the next year. But anyway, we, uh, I think the mix of the team was, uh, you know, trying to get people, uh, Bill Walsh, I think, had an incredible eye for trying to build a team and build chemistry. 
And I'll never forget, we went to a, we had uh, a gathering of the five Super Bowls in Las Vegas. And Bill Walsh, uh, who was an amazing coach, an amazing person, got up and he said, you know, it's important that you have the Joe Montanas and the Ronnie Lotts and the Dwight Clarks, but then you also have to have the bottom half of the roster. <laughs> the Bill Rings, <laughs> Milt McCalls. <laughs> you remember that, don't you, Milt? And uh, Rick Jervis and Ron Ferrari. And we all were sitting at the same table and we kind of looked at each other like, is that a compliment? <laughs> Take it as such, right? <laughs> but we, we were called the AWPs, and uh, for people who don't know, that, that's average white players. <laughs> so, uh, we, uh, and we, we still do a ski trip every year. So There you go. Well, you had an unusual route uh, to the NFL. Just tell us, for those who don't know, how did you go to BYU? And did you have okay. to defend? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's, uh, you, you had well, to be one in a million, right? Well, uh, as you might guess, I, I'm not Mormon, <laughs> but uh, I'm Catholic. I grew up in South Bend, Indiana. I was born in Des Moines, Iowa, then we moved to South Bend, Indiana. And for my whole life, I was a Notre Dame fan. I was a, I was a, I was a maniac about Notre Dame, and I was having a good senior year in high school, and Notre Dame was paying a lot of attention to me, calling me every week. And I thought I had a, and they brought me down to uh, USC to see a game. I thought, you know, I was going to Notre Dame. So I put all my eggs in. I didn't return <laughs> any other questionnaires from any other school. <laughs> I was right with Notre Dame. And then uh, Eric Parsegian, well, the game I went down was the USC game when Anthony Davis ran back the touchdown at halftime. Notre Dame was leading 28 nothing. They ended up getting beat by USC, down at USC. Anyway, Eric Parsenia gets fired. Um, they say, listen, you can walk on, but we can't give you a scholarship. And wow. uh, my dad Plan said, B. My dad said, I don't think so. So, <laughs> so roll forward. Anyway, uh, ended up going to BYU and went to a, a junior college, and then uh, College of San Mateo, then went to uh, Brigham Young University. And I have to say, um, I was just at Lavelle Edwards' service, uh, funeral service, memorial service, about two months ago. And I love that man. He was an amazing coach. And if you talk about faith in God and, and doing the right things, Lavelle Edwards represented that. And, and that's what I was part of at BYU. And I, I played with amazing players, people that played in the pros. Uh, you know, the quarterbacks were uh, uh, Gifford Nielsen when I played, Mark Wilson, and Jim McMahon. Jim McMahon was my roommate. I was a graduate assistant coach. <laughs> Had to make sure that <laughs> I kept my distance from Jim. <laughs> Jim was a character in short. Uh, but he was a great guy. He was a great, and still is a great individual. Bill, in closing, you know, your wife, Connie, uh, who was a, a star in that video we just saw too. Uh, she mentioned one of the first things that really attracted her to you uh, was your giving, your charitable work. Interested to know how did that and why did that become uh, such an important part in your life, the, the selfless giving that, that you started obviously at a, a very early age and have continued today? Okay, well I, I have to tell the truth. And the truth is, that's good. It's like I was an altar boy <laughs> at Immaculate Heart of Mary in Belmont, and uh, I made I made a I made a promise. I said, "Listen, just let me do, Lord, let me do what I want to do, and I will give back. I will do whatever you want, and I'll give it. Wow. I'll pay it forward." And uh, that's the truth. I mean that's. And I can see it in your eyes. Since, yeah, that's great. Since that point in time, I mean, I've, I've always gone, uh, and I have deep faith, and I think my life's been guided uh, in that direction, and I, uh, I really feel that 
you know, he's guided my life and the steps and every important decision, you know, I'm, I'm praying, <laughs> you know, for guidance. And uh, I, I, think, uh, I think a lot of people in this room obviously have that faith as well and, or you wouldn't be here. So I think we all share in that faith and uh, uh, that's, that's been a big part of my life. Bill Ring, ladies and gentlemen. I have to admit, I uh, I was guided to protect you from oh. that. <laughs> <laughs> sure.